it seems odd to go and get a degree in math, but it, it's not really. There's so many diverse things you can do with it. Math graduates tend to be all over the place. There's huge possibilities. It's pretty amazing to see just the breadth of different jobs that are available to math students. I'd say math is involved in so many things that you can't even imagine right now. And uh, I think it has contributed a lot to my career. My name is Kim Jack, and I'm the Project and Operations Analyst at Fraser Miller Casgrain LLP. My name is Ben Redman. I'm a software developer at Amazon.com. Uh, my name is Robert Van Leeuwen, and uh, I'm a 3D graphics programmer. Side Effect Software is a company that creates 3D animation tools. Amazon is a technology company. Well, it's a Bay Street law firm that does a lot of uh, corporate law in Toronto. It's one of the big Bay Street law firms. You routinely come across problems at Amazon that are different than anywhere else. I use math every day in my job. The volume of data that we consume is just insane. Within my first four months here, I changed the top like 10 search results on every search results page pretty much. I have no regrets of going into this job or choosing this as my major at school. Um, it's challenging. There's lots of employment opportunities. There's diverse employment opportunities. The other cool part is you get dogs in the office, which I really like. It's fun. My job is to program and maintain the features in our flagship software, uh, Houdini. Our software has been used in Superman Returns, X-Men 3, Spider-Man. There's Hollow Man 2, uh, Monster House, more for kid, kids' movies. Oh, they're very flexible with you, you know, working from home, let's say. I'd say my job is a nine. I really still like getting up in the morning and going to work. And I first started there as a technology trainer, which is kind of a natural move from being a high school teacher into um, corporate training. It was a very family environment. There's never you in your little cubicle and only thinking about yourself. There's always lots of interaction and lots of laughs during the day. My name is Alex Perel. I'm an equity trader with TD Securities. The equities business of TD Securities is responsible for helping large money managers invest in the stock market. 9.30, the market's open, and from that point forward, you're, you're on, you're sitting, you're paying attention, you're looking at news headlines, you're looking at what the market is doing, and you have all this information flowing through your head, and then you act on it, and you make decisions around that. And it, it can be very, very exciting, because you're plugged in, it's happening right there. I'm Cecilia Cotton, and I'm a PhD student in biostatistics. I'm Buddy Betts. I'm a software engineer with Tryon World Network. I work with the National Wounds Tumor Study, which is a long-term study of children who had kidney cancer. So what most people think we do all day is just play games and, yeah, pretty much just play games all day. We do entertainment in the online internet space. I worked at Electronic Arts, um, or EA Sports, as they're more commonly known as. I did the AI for one of the James Bond video games. So that's actually when someone like, hits the button on the controller, converting that button press into the logic to make the player jump and do stuff like that. I really think that I found a way to take mathematics and apply it in such a way that it can actually make people's lives better. So I use my statistics degree to analyze the follow-up data on these patients and collaborate with physicians to develop uh, biological questions of interest. And then I use the data to try and answer these questions. It means a lot to somebody who's just diagnosed with cancer. We do have a wall full of pictures of kids and they send us Christmas cards, and wedding photos, and pictures of the children of the kids who have been enrolled in this study. The data is about real people, and it's nice to be able to walk by that and be reminded of it. Um, my name is Michael Brown. I am a software developer at Research in Motion. My name is Sana Hyatt, and I work as an actuarial analyst at the Economical Insurance Group. I'm Luke Moore. I'm a senior software developer for Side Effects Software. We make 3D animation software, and then we sell that to studios who are, for example, in Hollywood, who add special effects to film. RIM's main business uh, is producing BlackBerry and providing the BlackBerry service and experience to all of its, all of its customers. We provide insurance to businesses and individuals. I analyze risk, I look at our business history and I essentially try and predict the future from that. When I make essentially a prediction or a forecast, I can see the next time I do an analysis, was I correct, was I completely off? I love it every single day, so this is the best decision I made. 
Personally, what I do at RIM is to write software uh, that runs on the BlackBerry device primarily. It's um, high tech, it's really exciting. Really what's more important on, on top of all of that is that I'm really happy doing what I do. It's not a, not a challenge to get out of bed in the morning. I feel like I'm creating something that people are actually using. Knowing that your software was used in, in films, it's, it's rewarding. The, the people are really nice, really friendly. A lot of them went to Waterloo, in fact, with math degrees in computer science. I, I love my job, absolutely. Well, I think that having a degree in mathematics affords you so many different career opportunities. It's medicine. From software developers. Financial planners, they could be accountants, they could be actuaries. Database programming. There are tons of job opportunities. Statisticians. Ecology. Applied mathematicians. Jobs doing graphics programming with NVIDIA. You can do applications at Microsoft. Genetics. I believe NASA even hires some interns to do I don't know what. I applied to jobs in the co-op program that were working on software to power a Mars lander. I had no idea that people with math degrees could do so much. And there are a lot of big name employers that go in and say, well, we just want Waterloo grads and we have you know, all this need. Go to Waterloo, have a look at the job postings, see what jobs are available. There are a lot of high paying, interesting, exciting job opportunities out there for people with a math degree. I went to Waterloo largely because it offered the co-op program in combination with a mix of math, computer science, and business courses all in one package. The number of co-op jobs available really also highlighted for people the number of full-time positions available after graduation. More than teaching me what I wanted to do, it taught me what I didn't want to do. Um, everyone I find is very helpful. Everyone is very, you know, supportive. Certainly when people did well, we were happy for them. At the same time, we really wanted to do well ourselves. It would almost seem like there was a lack of competition, but that's only because of the number of opportunities that were basically available um, upon graduation. It was a great program, and it resulted in getting a job right away out of university. Not only is it known nationally, but it's known internationally. So where, where else would you go besides the University of Waterloo? You'll be solving complex problems that have applications around the world. And math is everywhere. I think that's the most important skill I learned in university, is the, the ability to be a good analytical thinker. Co-op really trains you well for that, to be able to adapt really quickly and learn really quickly. For the most part, it's a great learning experience for both the student and the employer, because you get this new, fresh brain that has new ideas. The area itself is really pretty. The campus is beautiful. So Waterloo itself is a great place. And I would highly recommend it to anyone. I have a good job. My math degree took me there. Having a math degree has really allowed me to have the, the time and the, the resources to do the things that I want to do outside of work. I mean, it has. It's given me the foundation for a really good career and a really good life. And Seattle is an absolutely fabulous place to be outside. So I play intramural softball. I watch movies. On top of music, I'm uh, interested in climbing in Alaska. I've been hiking in the Rockies. Rock climbing is one of the things I do. I've been on a trek to the Himalaya. But I like to dance. I like hockey, I can dance. Uh, ultimate frisbee. My quality of life now is drastically improved. Came out with good friends, a good degree, a good job. You just need to make sure that you are there to grab opportunities when they come up. I'm very happy with with my life and my career, and I think I. I'm very glad that I made the choices I did during high school and university and post-university to get me here. Math is the, the degree I'm still incredibly proud of having it, and uh, I think it has contributed a lot to my career. Hi, Tom Coleman here again. If you're interested in a math degree and exciting math careers and want to know more, visit our website, talk to your math teacher, and have a look at the bonus material on this disc. And let your love of math lead you to an incredible future. Didn't ask me how many digits of pi I could recite. I used to be able to do 60, but not anymore. That's what you do if you go to Waterloo. <laughs>